Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new random tutorial. So what I'm going to do is show you in Make Human a bit more in depth of how to export with Skellington because it wasn't the easiest to find. So not all file types you can export with it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, well basically how to export but I'm going to make a random model first. So the model will export with high definition Bones meaning you can control every single eyelid, eyelash, or anything, mouth, move it, everything. It's perfect. So, what we're going to do is first go to gender. We'll pick a man or a woman. We want it to be a woman. A man, I mean, because then, you know, we don't get funny comments. So, in gender, we'll turn genitalia to the middle. And I'm going to go to face. I'm going to show you how I randomize some images. Why is there a blight thing? Never mind. But what I'm going to do is I'm just, I simply just go down and click like that. I just click in random places. And it creates a really weird looking character, as you can see. Yes. So there's a random character. That will do. And what you can do is if you go to library, I believe it is. Yes. Don't worry about that. Um, face cam. Okay, it's deciding not to show us. We can go to skin at the top. And you can actually choose a different one. So I'll choose a little male here. And now he looks like a man and not a, a man with women's hair. But as you can see, the eyelashes, well, I don't like them myself. I'm just, well, they're coming out of his eye. And they're really annoying in game as well. So what I'm going to do is tell you, oh, that's appropriate, cover up the man's nipples. Yes, because everybody doesn't want to see that. Um, so what we're going to do is go to File and Export. So you've got... Wavefront OBJ, which does support bones, but I don't like it myself. What I'm actually going to do is go to DAE. Now, I, um, to my understanding, Blender can use it, 3ds Max and 100% can use it, and anything Autodesk can use, usually all other Autodesk projects can use as well, meaning Maya and Cheetah 3D, I think, belongs to that. So in here, we're going to give it a name called dip, 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 YouTube Man. And what you're going to do on these options here is turn off eyebrows. <coughs> Seriously, turn them off. You'll, they're annoying. I'll explain why later. Eyelashes turn off. That'll get rid of the eyelashes so you don't have to do it. But eyebrows, don't worry about it. It will still give him eyebrows. So don't worry about all these settings. But when you come to rigs, choose use simple life rig. Well, simple rig. What that'll do is basically give him a rig for gaming. And it works perfect in Unity 3D. So, call it export, click export, it will go did 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 do done. So if we go back to your documents here, I have mine here. If we go to exports, you will see we have a YouTube man. So if you go into it, we have a DEA. <laughs> Isn't that an American police force? Yeah. And we have textures. So if you go into 3ds Max, oh look, which is helpfully randomly positioned here, you can go to file and import. And if we go to copy the URL and click it into here, you will see it picks it up. So if we double click it, it will load in. And just click OK on that. And you'll see there are some bugs when you first see it, but it's really easy to fix, so don't worry about it. The first bug you will notice is the fact he is see-through. Just keep clicking OK on every menu. So click off, and you see you've got big white boxes, and he's see-through. To fix the see-through, what you do is you click him, press M on your keyboard to get the material editor if you haven't got the same one as me go modes compact instead of slate I'm not a fan well I'm not really a fan I've just never used the slate one I understand you can get much better models out of materials but choose the compact go back to your textures and drag and drop it in like so when it loads drag it onto your character he's no longer see through <coughs> But you will see the boxes are everywhere. It's really annoying. So if you click your character, right click and choose hide unselected. Okay, when 3ds Max stops lagging. And it will hide everything so it makes it a lot easier. And I'm just going to go realistic to shaded so we get through the shadows. So there's our nude guy. Yes, there are nipples here. Please don't post with stupid comments. But yes. So... Another bug you may find is sometimes if you have put eyelashes on, they will be white and you don't want it to be white. So what you can do is if you just go click this thing and under skin you'll see editable poly, click it and click yes and then click the element. 
you can actually click on things, certain body parts, so that's all one, but his eyes and stuff are different. You can actually click it and you can just delete it, but don't delete his eye, obviously. Yeah, but eyelashes, you can delete every single one, there's like 22 on each eye, but yeah. So another thing is, if you kept the eyebrows on, they will put big white gaps up here. I don't know why, I think that's an exporting bug with the program, but I think it's so you can move your eyebrows, but it, I just turn it off and it works every time. So, um, I'll show you how to attach things while we're here. So if you want to, say, put a cylinder on his head, I don't know why you would, but we'll do it anyway. In fact, we'll put a pyramid and call him Pyramid Head. So from the top view, I'm just going to drag a pyramid out and put it up. Ooh, that must be very painful where it is at the moment. So put it on top. We'll call him a cone head. Yes, I've never seen that movie. I heard good things though. So we'll align it, just basically. And yeah. So he's a cone head now. He's very fandom of it. But if we were to move this character, he doesn't come with it. So we need to make it come with it. So if we click the um, modify, editable poly, click yes on that. And we click attach, we can actually attach it straight to him. As you can see, if we click off him, it'll lag for a minute because it's updating all the skin. But if you right click unhide all and find his neck, so we'll hide the, uh, where is it, come here. So we've got his neck, and if we actually rotate his neck, you see the cone comes with it. Wherever we rotate it, as you can see. So, if you put clothing on... You will get slight bugs, like with the feet, they'll sometimes drag more than they should. But it all works perfect. Even with the fingers, if we select one of these cubes, you can bend each crevice of the finger. So you have ultimate control. And I mean ultimate. For example, you can also put clothing on him. So... There's my funky clothing t-shirt thing. So if I select this arm here, hide him, and then go, la 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 la, as you can see, it follows him perfectly. Right? So we select it, get rid, la, as you can see, much, 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 much better than the models I made, easily. But yeah, so it even works on the hands. If I can select this here, Look, perfect. So we can just use that. But that's it. So the clothing tutorial will be coming soon. Don't worry about that. Really simple to do. Like, dead simple. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.